Students in Chicago are returning to in-person classes, ending a week-long teacher's walkout over COVID-19 fears in one of the largest U.S. school districts. The Chicago debate reflects a larger divide among Americans over whether it's safe to go back to school, as the country reports over a million new coronavirus infections almost every day. Teachers began pushing for more rigorous school safety measures and online learning last week, a walkout which took nearly 350,000 students out of class. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced Tuesday the school district had reached an agreement with the teachers' union on more stringent safety protocols to let kids get back to the classroom. Parents like Michelle Egan welcomed the news. I've read the data, I've read the articles, and I read the CDC guidance. And, you know, and those are the facts that help me feel comfortable as a parent that it is okay to send my daughter back to school. And, you know, the fact that I've also um, made sure she's vaccinated. Other parents remain skeptical. Brenna O'Brien co-organizes CPS Sick Out, which supports keeping kids out of school for the time being. The in-person conditions right now are not safe. We know that the air filters are not being changed. We know that the kids don't have the right N95 masks. We know that a lot of schools don't even have the cleaning supplies or running water in their bathrooms to be able to wash their hands. So just to be clear, four out of five teachers in my school in a single grade are out in quarantine. While most U.S. public school districts have reopened for the new year, some have faced severe staff shortages due to the surging Omicron variant. That's delayed some districts' reopening plans and prompted a return to online instruction.